guys, it's Aika and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing an exciting video. Um, we're going to talk about Patrick Star's new brand called One Size. We're going to do the swatches and then the demo and then after all that we're going to talk about the product. So keep watching till the end. If I had no cash to spend If I forget we had plans When I feel like breaking down Ooh, you'd be Patrick Star just launched his brand. It's I think it came out Thursday the 30th. I could be wrong though. So the brand is called One Size and if you have been following Patrick Star, um, you know that he used to work at Mac and I think um, 
that kind of had an influence to it because holy and um and i think that has a little bit of influence to it because max like slogan is like you know all gender all sizes like all all races and um i was reading up on it and basically he tweeted sometime in 2016 that you know shopping for a plus size it sucks and he's so happy that like makeup is a one size fits all so that kind of resonated with him and he trademarked it and that's why he called his brand one size so the brand is exclusive at sephora if you go on the sephora homepage, like on the app um you'll actually see they're promoting it so it says one size by patrick star shop the brand um so if you click on that it says one size beauty belongs to everyone inspired by our community we deliver extraordinary makeup with larger than life performances so the line itself has eight products so the first one is eyeshadow palette that i'm showing you guys um it had she he also has a liquid eyeshadow a liquid liner a gel liner and makeup wipes and the makeup dissolving mist and the last two come in the regular size and a mini size so the palette itself is 55 canadian dollars um, I think it's pretty standard for an eyeshadow palette. It does come with 15 shades and one, two, three, four, four. It comes with 10 matte shades and so it comes with like nine matte, one semi shimmer, and then five glitter. Um, I'm saying that because the blue is kind of a matte shade but just has a little bit of like glitter in it but it's not technically, I don't know, it's like kind of a shimmer kind of a matte shade and then the other five are like basically glitter shades um let's talk about the packaging first it's actually so cute like i love it um at first i thought i got a broken palette because it actually crisscrossed here so it goes it slant it slants down here and then the back comes up higher and it slants down as well on the opposite side and i literally thought mine was broken when i first got it um, and then on the front it just says one size, it says Patrick's our visionary and eyeshadow palette. So on the back it does say a one size fits all 15 pan eyeshadow palette with 9 super pigmented mattes, oh I was right, and 6 eye catching shimmers, oh okay, so the blue is counted as a shimmer, <laughs> that are opaque, creamy, and blendable. Patrick Star created this visionary palette all of all day everyday shadow essentials with neutrals, warm tones, pops of colors, and a deepest black. So, um, r with reading that, I do agree that the, the eyeshadows are very creamy. Um, you guys can notice in the swatches too that they swatch pretty well. Um, I am a little bit worried about fall-offs, especially with the gold shimmer for some reason. That one had more fallout than all the other shimmer shades. But it was calling me this one. That's the one I used. Um, if you guys didn't notice, like, I don't know. I picked the blue and the gold. Was, they were just calling me. And it was giving me, like, this Egyptian vibe. Um, I was going to use the black. But then I feel like it was going to be, like, too much. So I just opted for the dark brown. Um, I do like that he has his neutral shades. Because I feel like that's something that's essential for an eyeshadow palette. Um, so you can literally just bring this and create, like, a lot of different looks. Um... So these ones here, like at the top, are like your basic essentials. Um, I do like how it has a range of sh different like shimmer colors because so like let's say these two, which is everything and walnut straw, are a little bit more on like the neutral side, and that's something like I could anyone could potentially wear every single day. Um, but I do like how you know he added the blue, and then this kind of like a lime. It's not lime green, but it's like, oh, so it's olive, basically. And then, like, another green, which is called matcha. I think that's pretty cool. And I really, really like this um, gray shimmer shade, and that's what I use on my inner corner. Um, it looks like, it looks icy, if that makes sense. I do like the eyeshadow palette. I love the packaging. Um, the shades are creamy and easily blendable. At first, I thought that the blue was a little bit harder to blend on my crease. Um, and then when I started using another shade on top of it, like, it was fine. Other than that, like, the frigging, uh, what's it called? Embossed. Like, he put his face on him. It was so cute. And him with a turban over here. And then, honestly, I feel like this is Peter, which is his brother. But it, it could be himself, too. Anyways, um, would I buy this palette again? Um, 
Probably, and I think I would do it just to support him because I'm. I feel like, you know, he he totally deserves it. He had a lot of um, like he used to work for Mac, and then he had a lot of collaborations with Mac, and I'm so happy for him that now he's like launching his new line. Would I recommend the product? Absolutely. As his line says, it's a one size fits all, so literally anyone can wear it. It's not like. Oh, it's only good for like fair skin or dark skin or whatever. Um, literally anyone can wear it, which I love. Hopefully you guys find this video helpful. And if you haven't already, please pick one up. And um, I don't know Patrick or anything. I'm just like supporting him because I've followed him for quite some time now. I'm not like following his like every single post, but I've been watching him for years and years. And I actually bought a bunch of um, the MAC collection that he had when I also worked at MAC at the time. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, um, leave me a comment down below. And if you guys try this, let me know what you think as well. If you guys haven't already, please click the red subscribe button down there. Oh my god, I feel like I haven't filmed in so long. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's on this side. And <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!